Hello Future Millionaire. Today we're going to talk about money. Yes, money is actually the one that you want here, right? The very reason you're watching this channel is because you want to make some money. So let me show you the big money. And I got the best possible argument why you should be staying in BCH despite the hash war and despite everything else what you read in the news. So you just Google this name, the money project. Let me just show you what I am investing for and what I believe the entire team of Satoshi Vision is investing for. What are they fighting for in this hash war? And why a tweet, a most recent tweet of mine, is a good indication what is still to come. If you go into this website, you're gonna see squares, a lot of squares, tons of squares. The size of the square indicates the absolute amount of money. The very first square you see is silver. This square has a particular meaning to me. Uh, I will tell you another story another day, but just to say I have a long history with silver. Way too long. <laughs> okay, so that's cryptocurrency right now. All the cryptocurrency in the world right now is this size. And by the way, the size of BCH is about half of the size of the silver power. Okay? And now let's move forward. Those are the companies, famous companies like Google and Microsoft. And you can read for yourself what's really going on. So currency, here we come for the first power of money. Okay, those currency they're referring to are literally uh, things in your pocket. It does not represent the actual money outstanding. Instead, this is just like cash on hand. And as you probably know from your own experience, cash on hand practically doesn't count for anything very much nowadays. When was the last time you bought a house with cash on hand? Never, right? Or car. Or even the coffee you most recently bought probably didn't. You didn't buy it with cash on hand. So here, this is the one part of money I want to, to look at. It's gold. So gold is currently worth about 7.7 .7 trillion. Roughly 1,000 times the size of BCH. You know that BTC Cam wants to be the digital gold. Let me just tell you up front, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't wanna go into detail because that one means a five hours of monetary history lesson and everything. Just trust me on that one. I know something about gold. You know one day why I know something about gold. This is my home base, all right? Let's just say that. And BTC will never be gold. BTC right now is no more than a Ponzi scheme. BCH easily can become gold, but BCH wants to be a lot more than that. I have recently joined Twitter and started to follow everybody on Twitter and start to tweet a little bit myself. I'm not a very social person and I'm really bad with tweeting and I didn't even install Twitter on my phone to prevent myself to become addicted to it. And my last tweet was uh, tweeting towards Jimmy, Jimmy Nguyen, and um, he is the CEO of Unchain. And he's a great guy. And even though I've never met him before, he always gave me a fantastic impression as a human being. Extremely approachable, very communicative, and probably the best ceremony master I've ever seen anywhere. And I tweeted about my view that what's going on in BCH right now reminds me of Microsoft and Intel in these early days. Uh, just to share some history about myself, my very first investment when I was 18, it was into Microsoft and Intel. Those were one of the first companies I invested in. Back then I didn't do that much research. I was just basically following the crowd. But I can assure you that the upside potential is nothing compared to BCH. So I tweeted out saying that since uh, Microsoft and Intel both combined are worth about a trillion dollars, and they're just two companies doing specific tasks, so BCH should be able to easily reach $10 trillion market cap. That is also a reference to my old price target, the minimum price target of 1,000 times from today's price. Because I always look at what can BCH become. For me, BCH is hard money. That's the first function. It's like saying fire is there to burn. BCH is hard money to be used on a daily basis. And it will go beyond that. But the first step and foremost is BCH is hard money. The hardest money we have ever seen. Let's just call it Bitcoin, okay? A Bitcoin is hard money. It is the hardest money I've ever seen. It definitely will win over gold, hands down. And you can see, gold, roughly 8 trillions, about 1,000 times the size 
of BCH right now. So that is my tweet was referring to. However, the very first person tweeting back to me is Professor Faustus, which is of course Craig Wright. And Dr. Craig Wright wrote back simply, "You think too small." <laughs> <laughs> and I agree with him, so I wrote back saying I agree. <laughs> it's because I'm I'm not greedy. Look, I I'm lo always looking at the worst case scenario. From my perspective, the worst case scenario from BCH is become gold. That's the worst case, actually. And uh, if if we do not achieve the global domination in currency, then BCH will be the gold. Yeah, because it can be used in commerce and it's absolutely a store of value. It's like a savings account. All right, the best savings account ever. What I'm doing, converting my net worth into PCH, is equivalent of putting my money into a bank that cannot be corrupted, and is unalterable, and is not controlled by a particular party. It's a savings account. It's my first step into this new economy. And now, the reason why CSW is saying that I'm thinking too small is because he's referring to those stuff. Look how many squares we still have. Look at all that. I'm just keep scrolling. You you see for yourself. I'm just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There. We're talking about trillions, okay? Trillions, hundreds of trillions, hundreds of trillions of dollars of market cap can be replaced by BCH. Why do I say that? It's because BCH has the potential to power the entire global economy. When you power the entire global economy, you must have the ability to scale. You must have the ability to scale. And that is exactly SV is for right now. Satoshi vision of Bitcoin is meant to scale, big time, no cap, minimum changes, which is all make total sense. I'm not a supporter of Enchain and Craig Wright because who they are. I'm supporting them because what is their principles? And their principles align 100% with my principles. That is the reason I'm supporting them. I've never met those people before. They don't know me either. I mean, maybe one of them watched my channel. I hope so. Hello. Yeah, and I, uh, in two weeks' time, I will go into London to meet up with those people too, just to say hello and to party, basically. <laughs> and, uh, but this is what we're dealing with. From this tiny seed, this tiny seed, half of that size, we're gonna go all the way to that. Everything, okay? This is the story of BCH. A bit of a spoiler for you, all right? Now you know why I have no trouble thinking this will 1000X. It has gone away. Just a matter of time. Rather I pay five hundred dollar per coin, thousand dollar per coin, five thousand dollar per coin. It's actually completely irrelevant. As long as the people who are in this ecosystem operating according to the principle of Bitcoin and do not go away from the principle of Bitcoin, then it is inevitable sooner or later we're gonna end up with all the squares. All of them. Every single one of them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share and subscribe and tell everyone you know about the channel. I put a lot of effort into those videos. You might not know it, but it takes a lot of my time. And I hope you can spread the word for, for me and on behalf of Bitcoin Cash. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.